All right. Hi everyone. Um, for those don't, that don't know me, I'm Anna. I play clarinet and saxophone and run the Facebook group and Woodham Academy with Amanda who plays flute. Um, so today I'm going live to talk a little bit about uh, improvisation. Um, so we sent an email about improvisation um, and just, you know, some thoughts on it in general. And we got a lot of awesome responses from people that wanted to learn more about jazz improv or just where to start um, or just kind of their experiences. So I'm going to do a little live uh, video today of how to get started in jazz improv. Um, but I'll have tips that will apply to wherever you are in your level um, just to get you feeling more comfortable with it and give you some tools that you can use when you're practicing. So if you're watching, say hi, um, where you're from, what instrument you play. But we're going to get started today. Okay, so today I'm going to be talking about doing creative improvisation with a drone. <laughs> and I'm going to explain why. Okay, so for those who aren't familiar with what a drone pitch is, um, it's just kind of like a steady pitch. You know, you might have like a, a drone pitch on your tuner that just like plays a specific pitch or note. Um, and I use those for tuning and also um, sometimes to practice improvisation. So we're going to be doing um, a major scale with the drone. Um, so there's a lot to cover wow. <laughs> when it comes to improvisation. And obviously, <laughs> I can't cover it all in 10 to 15 minutes. But I just wanted to give this as a really good starting point that you can do like right away. Um, and this is going to be an interactive Facebook Live, um, so feel free to go get your instrument out and kind of play along with me. Um, so Amanda did a really great video on tuning uh, a couple weeks ago, if you didn't see that, and I'm going to kind of relate that to this. Um, so yeah, I practiced improvisation with a drone, and we're going to be using the major scale. Um, so when it comes to jazz improvisation, a lot of people get overwhelmed by how many chords, scales, um, just like different things there are in jazz improv, but actually you can just get started with just knowing like a couple chords or a couple of scales. Like for example, um, a lot of modal tunes only use a few chords or scales. So an example of a modal jazz tune would be Miles Davis's So What? Um, that only uses like two chords <laughs> the entire song. So if you know like those two chords or scales, you're going to be like good to improv. Um, there's songs that are harder and more complex that you kind of learn later in your development. But um, modal tunes are a really good starting point. And also um, what I teach a lot of uh, is, is the blues. So um, different kinds of blueses. And you can just use one scale called um, the blues scale on all of that. So basically what I'm saying is just by getting comfortable with a few kind of starting groups of scales or modes, um, you can start improvising over music right away. So today um, we're going to do, oops, we're going to do just a major scale with a drone. So a concert B flat, um, concert B flat pitch. So I have my clarinet and alto today. So for flute players, you just get to play B flat. Uh, clarinet will be doing C and saxophone our G major scale um, with the drone and we're going to be just focusing on tuning and just getting creative with different ways of playing the scale so that's our main goal for today is like just getting you comfortable with playing around with a major scale uh, doing some different rhythmic ideas and putting notes together in some different ways that you haven't thought about before um, okay so here's our drone pitch I hope you can hear it Okay, I'm going to make that louder. Okay, so hopefully you can hear that. Um, so I'm a little flat, which is awesome. So um, first of all, I can just use this drone to get in tune, and I'm just going to simply play my um, C concert B flat major scale over it. tune first of all um, and Amanda also did well, when she was doing her tuning video she talked about tuning different intervals um, so for example now that I'm just thinking about it um, the interval of the third right concert B flat to D 
That D is going to be sharp, actually, 13 to 14 cents sharp in a chord. So that's something to think about when you're uh, just playing the scale with the drum. Okay, so now you did that. Um, so now uh, we can play around with some different notes in the scales. So maybe uh, you can try playing in thirds, which means just kind of skipping a note each time. <laughs> some different intervals. Something I also like to do that I practice a lot of is fourths. Okay, so after you do that, now you can start playing around with just putting different notes um, of that scale together. So you try skipping around, try going a little bit to the bottom of your range or the top and trying some different rhythms with that. different groups of notes together and trying some different rhythms. Um, so a common rhythm that you'll probably hear a lot uh, about in jazz is the swing rhythm, right? Which um, the first uh, note is longer in a swing rhythm. Uh, you don't need to worry about that too much right now if that's a super new concept, but basically you can just experiment with playing different rhythms over this drone. And, I mean, there you go. <laughs> you just creatively improvised. <laughs> so, I mean, that's, that's really it. I think, um, like, just starting, just putting things that are not on the page in some sort of order and just experimenting with it is the first step. Um, okay, so that was the major scale, right? Um, I can practice different kinds of scales over this drone. So I mentioned, um, so what, right? Um, which is that Miles Davis tune, that's going to be using the Dorian scale, um, which is a mode of the major scale. Um, so I could practice doing my Dorian scale um, or a blues scale with the drone. And um, those are some concepts that we dive into more in, uh, in Virtual Woodwind Academy, the whole month on jazz, just because there's so much, <laughs> there's so much to learn. Um, and we just really wanted like a full month to just kind of get immersed. Um, but yeah, I mean, what I found was a lot of, I, ha I teach a lot of students that um, either double or they are, they're just jazz players or they're classical players who want to learn jazz. And um, I just really get them started learning about just a few basic scales, just, um, you know, some different modes that they can learn. Um, and then also the blues scale. Okay, does anyone have any questions about this so far? This can also just be a really great practice tool for like just practicing your scales in different intervals as well. Um, so you can practice your scales in thirds and fourths. Um, let me show you some specific rhythms that I'm doing too with this drone. So again, you can do like some swing notes. You could do practice your C major scale. <laughs> explain the two kinds of scales I was talking about. Um, so when I was talking about the Dorian scale, basically I'm going to make the third and the seventh flat in this scale. So if you're playing concert B scale, I'm going to have a D flat and then a B flat. <laughs> the blue scale also let me know if anyone wants to get into the blue scale or has any questions about that I'm thinking of doing um, 
a part two of this creative improvisation that will cover some more jazz specific strategies. But the first step is I just wanted everyone to get just comfortable with just, uh, you know, having your instrument, playing what's not on the page, exploring um, some different rhythms. Okay, so I hope that was helpful. Bye, everyone.